This class has been going on for a very many, a long, a long time, many, many years. Uh, I took over in 1977 when the lady who taught me, uh, it's a tradition in uh, the Ukrainian culture for Easter to make decorated eggs. Uh, there's uh, various traditions as to why we do this. One of them is that um, uh, the Virgin Mary uh, brought decorated eggs to Pontius Pilate to, uh, to try to free her son like this. You don't have to be Ukrainian. Um, when I worked, um, half the people I worked with came one time because they were interested to see what I was doing. And one of them was so good that she actually was doing them at home on her own, even though she was English. After so many years, they're still interested. A lot of the, 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 the one young lady here, young lady, she has a grandmother now, she came when she was young. Her mother brought her. So I'm working on and one of the other girls says, that's her daughter. So I've got like three generations coming. <laughs> well, I've been coming here for the last 40 years, but the last off and on. So regularly, it's been about five years. And I'm here to do Pisanki. And uh, I love the tradition. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to keep going as much as I can to pass it on to my grandchildren. And uh, I like the story behind it because it reminds me of my parents uh, when they were young and something that they remembered. And we continue now with our children uh, and there are a lot of adults who uh, never had a chance when they were children to learn. Uh, so they, we have all ages, as you saw. <laughs> Another Easter tradition we have, we have the food that we use, that we eat on Easter. It has to be blessed. So we bring our baskets to church and we decorate them with our piss and kit. I start off by first drawing the design. There are some artists that really don't have to, they can start straight off a white egg, which is for me is very difficult. <laughs> and for children and for others who don't know, it's, it's an easy introduction. You simply follow the lines that I've drawn. Whatever you cover with your wax will stay that color. So the first color that we have is the white of the egg. Draw, follow my lines, those lines will stay white. The next color is yellow. You put it in yellow, take it out, you let it dry. The next design you want in yellow, you will cover with wax. And then green. Put your green where you want it, you cover that with wax. No matter what color it goes into, the wax protects whatever is underneath, all the way to black. And then once all that is through, doing your various designs at the various stages, you then melt the wax off and your egg is finished. <laughs>